Hello everyone, welcome back to Nathan Sucks at Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. In the last one, we started this lovely investigation day, and I laid out my new schedule. I'm so sorry I missed yesterday. Um, it was just a slight oversight on my part. Uh, it's not that I didn't have anything recorded. Oh, I mean, I didn't, but, you know, I just couldn't, like, fit it in, because I also did Fire Emblem. And, uh, yeah, you know how long those episodes can be, right? You've seen them on my channel, and it was a two-parter, so... Yeah. Actually, it was one of the shorter two-parters, but, yeah, you know. So there probably also won't be one on Monday, but I'm assuming I'm going to be able to finish up the investigation segment this time, so there'll be an hour-long, hopefully, an hour-long video on Tuesday. So, uh, I'm not sure if you even heard that, but, uh, okay. Wait, hold on, did I make a doof? No, I didn't. Okay. I remember. I remember exactly what I ended with last time. December 26th, the boat rental shop. Hmm. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, the murder on the lake and all. I'm probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Ah! Nick! It's beeping! The metal, de the metal detector's found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Yeah, Jesus, do you want to rape my ears some more? Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? We're just gonna do it anyway. Nick? Look. Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? I had this entire exchange with Gumshoe Meyer. You were there. You were. <laughs> Still love you, though. Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Picked up air tank of dubious value. Yay. That's always good. So, Larry. Got anything new to talk about? No. But that's not new to present you. <laughs> what? An air tank? Oh, dude. What about it? What about it, man? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Say, is this air tank yours? <laughs> Why would I have a thing like that? <laughs> Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <clears throat> yeah, get songin'. <laughs> Why is this outside of the courtroom? <laughs> it must be a coincidence. <laughs> there's a string of flags everywhere these days. <laughs> like elementary schools? And use car dealerships! Dude. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? <laughs> to go diving! You went looking for Gordy, so you went diving! Eh, yeah, no, probably not. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? A big puffy steel samurai. Mm. <laughs> now, why would you go ask me a question like that, dude? <laughs> Looks like I hit the nail on the head. <laughs> right, right. Actually, uh, see the compressor I always use was on the fritz, so I tried using the tank to inflate it, <laughs> just once, and yeah, it didn't go so well, dude. As I suspected. Put it away. It didn't go so well. Er, uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us! Tell us! <laughs> Fine. Whatever, it's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the steel samurai up with that. And then... Oh, 
dear Larry, you fool. The valve busted open and made this incredible noise, dude. And that tank there took off like a rocket. Took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Larry. Um. So, the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away? What happened next? <laughs> well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th. A week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out in the lake. So I went out every night in the boat looking for it. I mean, Kianza gave me that steel samurai after all. <laughs> and when did you find it? Just the night before last. Oh, it spat on the screen a little, dude. I'm sorry. Flew way out there. It took me four old days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. <laughs> but you see, I went home before midnight. So you don't, didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Yeah, sorry Lotta, we're about to crush your dreams. Sorry. Hey y'all! Well, y'all find anything out there about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I think I have to sneeze. Well, no you don't. No sneezing. Achoo! I told y'all no sneezing. See, I said the camera would respond to things a little softer than a bang. I tr it triggered on one of Von Kama's finger snaps, nah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's not. What about my film? Nick, pay the lady. <laughs> yeah, me too, Phoenix. Me too. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Just find a serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about this, that case anymore. Huh. Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Yay. Well, Mr. Lloyd, I got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Yeah, Gordy don't exist. Sorry. Lotta, there is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist... ...is... Yeah, here, I guess. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Larry's air tank? <clears throat> what are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still-deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo! Ugh. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy... Is really the steel samurai? Basically, yes. Kinda. Sorry, Lotta. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotta. Ah, whatever. 
We're getting info out of her. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Not at all. I don't care. I'm sorry. So, tell us this information you have. Promises a promise, I guess. I've heard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. He said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? Is someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just no guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Somebody else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Uh -huh. Wait. So you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the like. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, yeah, take it. Ooh, yeah. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. Blame Larry, guys. Always blame Larry. Legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who knew him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. That's a good line. Okay, second lake photo. Shows an empty lake. Taken automatically on 12... On the 24th of the 12th, 11.50pm. Uh, I guess we just got rid of the tank. Did we just, like, give it to Lotta? Okay. Hey there, Manfred. Nice. Oh, let's just look through everyone, just because I kind of felt like... Larry, your profile bothers me. I don't know why. I think it's the smile. Okay. God Lake. Public Beach. No, Larry, I don't know. Now. 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 December 26th. Boat rental shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. Mm, you're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Yeah, okay. In we go. December 26th. Tear cake. Tear cakers? The tear cakers. Cash. Meg, that you? Ah! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where are you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Y yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, squaw! Nick, what was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith! Yes? I'll leave a wet noodle in your capable hands, sonny. That is disgusting. Nick, what's the wet noodle? I'll tell you when you're older, Maya. Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squaw! Uh, yup. <sighs> he fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Alright, uncle. Um, a pasta shop? Yup. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. 
So that makes you to the third generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta, wrang pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes? You know, the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all-in-the-family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Yeah, well, we're not getting much out of Uncle here, sorry to say. Why does the bubble popping make the same sound as the judge's gavel? Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though now that you mention it, we haven't got any many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is the witness tomorrow, right? I've gotta find some way of getting information out of him. Well, sir? How about you look at my bag? That's that a lawyer's badge? Y yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy's the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Uh, yup, I got you figured out now. You're not Keith! Nick? Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, so. No, I'm not, Keith. And I'm not Meg, either. <laughs> We're here investigating a murder that took place on this, on this lake the other night. Please, help us! <laughs> mm, the lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. Mm, what's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Sure, why not? Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy! Good for you, Keith! Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg! Y yes <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly! Hello! Hello! Squaw! Uh... Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm also gonna... Brighten things slightly. Uh, nah, that looks fine. Look, I, I'm I'm sorry. I just don't know. What? Can we can we talk? Do you want to talk? No. Okay. Well, Lex is Lex is examine the parrot. Wow! What an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. He ignored me. What? You forgot Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello! Hello! Squaw! See? Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly. Polly added to the court record. 
Too bad all she can do is, all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Ooh. Look, a little safe. Hmm. Now don't you go opening people's safes without their permission, Meg. Maybe later. Later? When are we going to be coming back here? Uh, I can't imagine there's anything else here. So, Polly! <laughs> My memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, no wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, one, two, two, eight! Squawk! All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will you? Eh, <laughs> scenic. All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Well, all right. Got anything to say about Polly? Polly here is my only friend in the world. Isn't that right, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squat! Uh, yup. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, I'd assume I can present something to you. Because I, I, I guess the safe will be the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yup, now I've seen this. Y you know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. D Dad! You know something about this? I'm so, gl I'm so glad you're on board with this, Phoenix. Uh, yup, the other night, out on the lake. Yes, yes? I don't know all about that. I've seen it. What?! Tell us! Tell us what you saw! Well, I suppose... Since you're taking over the shop and all... Well... Ain't that dandy. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night... Yup. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang! So I looked outside! Then I heard another one! Bang! A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Like, yup. What did he say? Uh, yup. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time. Promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Uh, little Terry was just here. Terry? Uh, yep, that kid next door, you always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this, he was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6! Squawk! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, uh, I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? 
I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask the Detective Gumshin. Alright, okay, this investigation is a little longer than I thought it was going to be. Or I remembered it being. Hey, Gummy, I'm coming back for you, bro. Oh, time to destroy my voice. Okay, pal. Oh, let's get going. Hey, pal. Long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice and simple. The boat caretaker. You know the boat rental shop down at Gold Lake? No. Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? I would just... That was supposed to be top secret, pal. Do you know who that old man is? Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I uh, don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why I've called Miss Lot of Heart yesterday. That's who he is. We have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Mm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Uh huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. <laughs> that was when Edward's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. <sighs> to tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I consider opening the file up. Alright. Hey, Gummy. We got a parrot for you. What's that? A parrot? Your man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! Got slightly different each time. Huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? N Nick, you think it might be? I'll get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Ooh, there's the station's records room. I'll give you special. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. Guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. Yeah, and four in two. He's not even along for the ride, mostly. Wow! It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through a fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick! I found out where the file is! Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to... Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Okay, let's go. Gonna be a, gonna go a little over half an hour, I'd reckon. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. Guys, confirmation this is in 2016! Woo! That was last year! Yeah. Ooh. But yeah, no, it was like canonical timing, you know? So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? 
Is this the same district court where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? Wait, that was probably Maya speaking. That would be scary like that, in the dark. Oh boy, my favorite picture. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot. In the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim... Here, found it! Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got, got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Wait, so if he was 50, he's what, 15 years younger than Manfred? Woo! Jeeba deba. So he was like, what, 40 when this happened? Manfred, you elderly dude. Old caretaker, caretaker, with a thinks he runs a restaurant. He had lost the day's case in court and the only other was on Miles. Miles! Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was on the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Mm, that would be the guy that my mum got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as the suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well then, he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? It's too much, we'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? The L6 file, out to the court record. Along with that photo. Right. It's probably all we'll be able to find here. And all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad would do testifying in court. To be continued! Alright, guys. Well, that was fun. But I'll see you in the next one for another episode of Nathan Sucks at Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Um. Yeah. See you guys next time.